a certain somebody had some behavioral issues, and it wasn't me this time. So me and the fam, we are going to do the Bixby Knowles first Friday event, which is basically an art culture event, art food, stuff like that. We're gonna go see some art and some stuff, but first we're gonna get some food for ourselves. Yep, I'm I woke him up from a nap, he's a little upset. Dinner's finally done. It's almost already eight o'clock. Um, a little bit of a challenge. A certain somebody had some behavioral issues, and it wasn't me this time. so good right here. Look at this thing. I'm totally full, but I would eat barbecue right now. Oh, look at that! Look, somebody got themselves a little something something. It actually looks really nice. You like mom's necklace? What is going on here? Oh, doing live painting. Another break dance into. Building them into right now. It's called the Expo Center. This is like the main hub of the art center here in the Bixby Knowles area. Some of you may remember that. Let's go get some art on it. Eric. 
Costa. So this one is starting to shape up nicely. It's not quite there, it's almost done, but I really dig what happened there. So I'm okay with it. But let's talk about something else. Let's talk about that event that I just attended. I really think they've stepped up the game, especially there in that expo center where they had all the artists. I believe that they're really starting to bring in some awesome talent and I think that's cool. That my friends is the first step into my journey of being more involved in this community and yeah, I'm really stoked for this because I saw some amazing work there. Some really great, phenomenal work there that needs recognition in a big, bad way. I saw some also some work that, that some that's eh, not great, maybe has potential. And then I saw some stuff right there in the middle where it was like, you could tell that this person just needed another year or so to develop their style because they're just about there, but really doing some exceptional work. Now look, I'm no art judge or art critic, but I know what's good. At least I have a really good feeling about what's good and what's not, and what needs work and what doesn't. And yeah, so there's some of that there. It gave me hope because there's a lot of really great talent in this town that's not being utilized. It's not being shown, it's not being shared. And I feel like I can help with that, at least a little bit. So let's just say that the running theme for this particular video is help a brother out. And I'm not talking about help me out. I'm talking about me helping you out. Or if you're a local artist, <laughs> if you're Long Beach or the surrounding area, let me help you out. My friend Eric, who you saw in the video there, prior to the event, he asked me, called me up and he said, hey, would you be willing to come to this talk with uh, this artist talk that we're doing next weekend? And I was already planning on going, but he asked me openly to come, but he also asked me to film it to film it, to record it, to share it. Not this stuff you're seeing today, but what we're gonna share in a future video. He asked me to share that, and I gladly agreed. I gladly agreed to do that, because he wants to put a highlight on local artists, and he wants to put a highlight on this event of talking artist, people talking to artists, talking with artists, and the successful ones sharing their story. He wants to put a highlight on that. I'm happy, happy to help him do that. He put out the call and I answered. I honestly believe that that is a really key factor in growing not just the art community but yourself as an artist. I read this article some time ago and I apologize, I don't remember what it was, might have been New York Times, where it talked about how a lot of artists struggle because although they may be supported by artists on Instagram by sharing likes and hearts and whatnot, they're not supported in the way like artists buying work from other artists. And I get that, right? Because my walls are filled with art, mostly my own, but also lots of other people. And I had to put a moratorium on buying art because I just didn't have any more space for it. It's just sitting against the wall in a lot of places. And my wife said, no. <laughs> so I understand why some artists don't always buy a bunch of art because they don't necessarily have the wall space, maybe don't have the money, whatever reason. What you can do as an artist, is you can help other artists. You can help share their work, you can spread the love around, and I don't mean just going onto their Instagram account and hitting up all the likes. I mean actually sharing their work. And so that's what I wanna do. I wanna share the work of artists, whether it's here or in other places, most likely probably here, but in other places. Uh, Snapchat, Instagram, you know, stuff like that. But I wanna spread this love around because I know that what's going to happen is when I share this stuff with other people, 
When I share the work of an artist that I like, and that person is appreciative, they're going to be maybe sharing my own stuff. They're going to, you know, spread my name around to some of their other artist friends. Say, hey, you should get in touch with Dave. He helps other artists. I'm not trying to be anybody's savior. I definitely want to do my own thing. I want to focus on my art. I want people to see my art. I want to share my stuff, but I definitely do like sharing the work of other artists and I feel like it's important and essential and I think that all of us, every single one of us, needs to be doing more of that. You have an obligation to your creative friends. It's an unspoken obligation, but it's there and I think you need to do more of that. Sure, share the shit out of your own stuff, but every once in a while, maybe we'll sprinkle in another local artist. <laughs> Still stand tall.